there are free buses called cat buses here in Penang and you just hail one jump on and it's to help with the traffic over here so you can just jump on and off the free buses to get you all around the inner city. I've made my way down towards the Victoria Memorial Clock Tower. I thought I would have a little look round on the free buses and make myself more acquainted with the area as to how to get around. Hopefully without getting lost. <laughs> this little place has the best samosas ever. Georgetown is the capital city, the Malaysian state of Penang. It has gained international recognition for its vibrant street art. So I thought I would take you on a journey to explore some of the colourful murals around this rich cultural UNESCO World Heritage Site. The art movement started around 2012 as part of the Georgetown Festival. Often has a playful and quirky look with artists adding elements of fun and humour into their work as well. Looking for street art is a thirsty business. Among the most famous works are those of a Lithuanian painter. And it's no good, I'm going to have to put his name down here because my pronunciation is terrible. His murals, such as Little Children on a Bike and Boy on a Bike, have become iconic symbols of the city and are widely photographed by visitors. Uh, Hi, what's your name? My name is Raini. At Kajo, there's a uh, one hour, there's all the famous dust town area. Yeah? And uh, I go around the uh, happy, happy. <laughs> I enjoy. One of the unique aspects of Georgetown street art is the interactive elements of it. Many murals feature paintings, figures or props that allow visitors to pose alongside them, creating memorable photos and Instagram opportunities. This is one of the coolest things I've done in a long time. It is brilliant so worth it. I just feel sorry for him having to pedal me around. <laughs> Artists from Malaysia and around the world were invited to contribute to the city's cultural landscape through murals. Much of the street art is concentrated within the UNESCO World Heritage Area, which encompasses the historic heart of this lovely city. This area is characterised by its well-preserved colonial architecture and streets providing a backdrop for the art. The street art in Georgetown is a collaborative effort that includes both local and international artists and it has become a major tourist attraction for the area, drawing visitors from around the world who come to admire the colourful murals. Artists often draw inspiration from Penang's multicultural heritage incorporating elements from Chinese, Malay, Indian and other cultures. Oh, thank you! If you would prefer to, you can always get a guided street art tour so you can explore it in more detail. While some of the street art is on the main roads, others are tucked away in less busy alleys and lanes. Discovering these hidden gems often requires a sense of adventure, encouraging visitors to wander around the small areas to uncover the city's artistic treasures. The murals and installations in Georgetown depict a wide range of themes, including culture, history, daily life, and social issues. back at the samosa shop again and what I didn't realise is it has a Michelin star. I want to say that this street here is Julia Street which is also known as Backpacker Street which is the first backpacker today. Come out for dinner with everybody from the hostel again today. Really nice spot for dinner. 
and I have got boiled rice and chicken masala.